In this video, I am going to demonstrate anatomy of anchor joint. Especially, I am going to explain the muscles of anchor joint. You see kind of wires on the anterior side, the posterior side, and lateral side. Red wire, blue wire, and green wire. These wire represent each muscle's group. Red wire represent anterior part of anchor joint muscle. This blue wire represents lateral part of anchor joint muscle. And this green wire, it's kind of hard to see. This green wire represents medial part of anchor joint muscle. Let's start with anterior part of anchor joint muscle, which is this red wire. This anterior part muscles runs anterior to anchor joint, of course, right? This red wire represents such as tibialis anterior. Tibialis anterior runs this way actually, extensor hallucis longus, which goes to a big toe, and extensor digitorum longus, which extends toe. The function of these red wire muscles are mainly extends big toes and toes like this way, right? Extension of toes and dorsiflexion of anchor joint. Dorsiflexion is point up your toes this way. If this muscle pulls joint this way, it moves joint this way. Red one represents such as tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, and extensor digitorum longus. Let's go to the blue one, this lateral part. This blue one represents fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. You see this bony bump? This bony bump is a lateral malleolus. Lateral malleolus. So, this blue one runs posterior to lateral malleolus. So, lateral malleolus is very important for palpation for anchor joint, especially lateral part. And fibularis longus goes through this way, this way, this way, and attaches on sole of foot. The main function of fibularis longus brevis is it brings ankle this way. It's kind of this way. This is E version of ankle joint. E version is like this way. Twisting ankle joint this way. This is E version. And many more functions. Since fibularis longus and brevis pass through anchor joint, when these muscles pull joint this way, it does plantar flexion. Plantar flexion is opposite to dorsiflexion. It is not dorsiflexion. This is plantar flexion. You point toes this way. So fibularis longus does plantar flexion and E version of anchor joint. Now let's go to medial part of anchor joint, this green wire. This green wire goes posterior to bony bump. What is this? This is medial malleolus. Green wire goes posterior to medial malleolus and pass through medial part of calcaneus. And it's kind of hard to see it runs the bottom of foot. What does this green wire represent? This wire represents such as tibialis posterior, flexor hallucis longus, and flexor digitorum longus. We just saw the red one. This represents tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, and extensor digitorum longus. This green one is kind of opposite, tibialis posterior, flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus. So this function is basically flexion of toes and plantar flexion of anchor joint. Why? If you look at direction of this green wire, it runs posterior to anchor joint. So if this muscle pull anchor joint this way, it moves anchor joint this way, which is plantar flexion. Now I want to talk a little bit more about this one. What is this beige tape? Did I use this beige tape to just stick these wires? Mm, not only that. 
this beige tape represent connective tissue. The connective tissue is retinaculum. This retinaculum is very important for ankle joint. Why? You see, retinaculum covers ankle joint. So what if retinaculum gets tight? It literally can tighten up ankle joint and these muscles. Let's say if this red wire, the anterior muscles gets tight, it can inhibit the uh, plantar flexion. Why? These muscles are those flexion muscles, but this muscle gets tight, it's hard to do plantar flexion. If this part gets tight, it's hard to do dorsiflexion, right? Because these are plantar flexion muscles. So, as I said, retinaculum is very important for ankle joint mobility. Why? Because this covers ankle joint muscles. And remember, this wire does not represent everything about uh, muscles. I'm just giving you a simplified version of uh, anatomy, so remember, there are so many other muscles. So today I explained the anatomy of ankle joint and group of muscles around ankle joint. And at last I explained how important this retinaculum is. So this is today's video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in next video.